In this video, I'm going to go over my strategies for Pinterest, AI Pinterest, right? There's new tools in town that are going to shake things up. I guarantee you've never seen this tool because it just came out. There's a wait list. A lot of people waiting to use this. You're going to love what this does. I'm going to go over specifics such as do these tactics actually work? Here's a chart. We started it over here and whoop, here's outbound clicks doing really well. We're going to use tools like post planner, pin clicks. I'm going to give you specific examples of what I'm doing. I'm going to like work through this with you so you can know exactly what to do. Now let's start here. Why AI Pinterest? I underlined and bolded AI, but let's start at Pinterest. Why should we care about Pinterest? Like it's a, I always thought it was a silly platform, but come to find out you can come on the Pinterest and you can create an image like this, some basic titles and descriptions over here. And guess what? It makes you money. And that picture right there, it looks great, right? It's inspiring. It's AI, 100% AI. And it took like a second to create. Look up here, impressions, almost 200,000 impressions, pin clicks, saves, and so on. So the question of why AI Pinterest? Well, let's start at why Pinterest. Pinterest is great because there's millions and millions of people on Pinterest ready to look at the stuff you create and more or less hand you money. If you have a way to monetize, which is very easy, you can make a lot of money. Now AI, why AI? Well, it's efficient. It's more efficient than ever. I'm gonna show you this tool over here. It's called Content Goblin. We're gonna use this tool in this video to create things we can never ever before. Now, if you're part of the Maverick Mastermind, right? A forum where people get together, talk about these tactics, you're gonna know that I'm a junkie for what? Efficiency, I love efficiencies. And all that means is it's speed plus cost plus quality. I don't have time in the day to screw around with something, take 10 hours to create two blog posts. No way, I need 100, I need two, three, 400 blog posts in one day, right? I need cost to be reasonable. I'm willing to spend a little money to be faster because ultimately results come faster, right? And then quality. This is something we're gonna talk about in this video. Quality is tricky, right? You're gonna pay more to get better things, but efficiency is everything when it comes to AI. All right, so crash course on Content Goblin. Why is this tool so good? It's efficient, right? It does exactly what I do, exactly what has led to this type of chart right here. It does it for me. I used to have to do it manually and have my VAs do it. It takes forever, it costs more money. Now we have this tool. So let's just do a crash course. So we have two options, Flux or Ideagram, right? These are the models. So it's going to do two things, create a blog post for you and give you awesome images. The images are based Based upon either Flux or Ideagram at this point. Ideagram is very expensive, very high quality. Flux is the opposite of that. It can work for some niches. So let's check it out. 15 bedroom designs for say college students. Let's just do that. Let's just see what happens, right? So you come down here and you get to click on your image model. Flux Schnell, I think that's like fast in German. Someone told me that, maybe it's true, maybe it's not. It's, it's the cheapest. It's fast, it's easy, it may work for some purposes. Then you're going to pick which image size you want. For Pinterest, nine by 16 is where it's at. And then we just click generate and we just wait a second. And you're gonna see what took me, what took me forever to do. You know, it's pretty fast, but this is going to be way faster. And here we go, you scroll down and you can see, boom, perfect. It's a listicle. So we can go through each one. You'll see the quality versus ideogram. We're gonna do ideogram in a bit, but keep in mind this here, it costs about, it costs you, I'm pretty sure about one cent per image. This article of 10 costs you around, I think 11, 12 cents, something like that. This stuff, this right here, this ranks, this right here, I've, I've done it myself, that quality, it ranks on Pinterest. If you have the right keywords, all this stuff, that right there, good. You can ship that, look, tech savvy smart bedroom with LED accents, and then it has a little description down here, three, four sentences. This here could be your Pinterest description. This here could be your Pinterest title. It is good to go. You can click this button here. So I'm downloading the images, my head's in the way right now. But basically, this thing is tooled for Pinterest and blogging. This was created by, I didn't mention this, this is created by John Ward. Jonathan Ward, this guy is an excellent SEO. He's been around forever and he's a programmer that is not to be messed with. He's so good at this stuff. Now, before we do step-by-step, step, I wanna show you the power of this thing. This is still Flux Schnell. So this is still the lesser model. A model is just the engine that creates the images. The images are not as high quality as they can be, but this tool can do 50, a listicle of 50. I'm gonna show you why listicles do really, really well on blogs for Pinterest and even without Pinterest, right? So 50 cozy winter cocktails to warm your spirits. And we're coming down here. This is what happens. You can push it right towards your blog, right? You just click a button, it's in your blog. And this is what it looks like. 
I mean, 50 of them, 50 images. Keep in mind, this cost me about 50, probably five cents, if that. That's nothing. Now, remember, some of these drinks maybe are not to the quality we want because AI is not perfect. AI is never perfect. But because we can create so many so fast, all we have to do is go back and look at, you know, let's say, oh, I don't like this one. We'll delete it. And now it's a list of cool 49 best X, Y, and Z. Now we're going to tie it all together with three tools. This is the process. I'm going to show you the process right now. This is, you can do this right now with these tools, right? So you can have pin clicks, you can have post planner, right? Post planner is pretty sweet. And we're going to have content goblin. This is like the trifecta of tools now. You can just run so much content affordably efficiently. All right. So let's say I'm in the home decor space, top pins. Let's just say bedroom ideas, right? Whatever. I just want to see, okay, bedroom ideas for small rooms pops up. Let's see what the top pins are. Let's see what saves they have. So pin clicks is a paid tool. Check this out. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So 23 plus bohemian bedroom ideas for teenage girls, 29. All right. That has over a hundred thousand saves. That's crazy, right? The next one up is 42 minimalist bedrooms that are gorgeous and practical. Do you see something in common? 30 home exterior designs, blah, blah, blah. They're all listicles. 23 plus, 40 plus, you know, listicles crush it on Pinterest. So what we're going to do is just emulate one of these 42 minimalist bedrooms that are gorgeous and practical. A real easy, all we do is type in 42 minimalist bedroom ideas. This is based upon this one right here. This is what an image needs to look like. Like that's the big dog image, top three image for minimalist bedrooms on Pinterest. This is what we're looking for. Let's see how the tool does. So 42 of them, bedroom ideas. You can keep the article prompt pretty simple because you can go back and kind of augment what you want the title to be. And you should do that because it's all about click through rate. Nonetheless, section, let's just do concise. Let's do flux Chanel yet again. And look, this is what's so cool. I can do 42 just out of the box. Check it out. 42 credits. This is going to cost me what? It's going to cost me less than uh, 50 cents. Click run. And here we go. Just like that, we have, I mean, that right there. I mean, let's just keep going. I mean, I can stop and talk about one image at a time, but you can see them. This is pretty darn high quality for one cent per. Would these rank on Pinterest? I mean, what I see rank on Pinterest is this quality period. So do we need ideogram for this type of niche? I don't think so. There's 42 of them. It blows my mind. It blows my mind. It's, it's ridiculous. And the cost, this is probably the most efficient tool that I've ever come across. Absolutely crazy. So now what I'm going to show you is how to tie it together, right? So we created it. We kind of did ideation, like what should we write about, right? We used pin clicks over here. We know like, okay, listicles work in home decor. Let's just do one that's kind of like this. Let's do it better. Let's do it more. Let's do it faster, right? But how do we tie it together? How do we get these images, right? We have the blog post now, right? If I come over here, we have the blog post. How do we get these images on to Pinterest. Now, one easy way is to just click this button, download images and boom, just like that, you're going to have every image downloaded locally. You can, so there's, there's a philosophy here. You can natively post on Pinterest. In other words, if you come to pinterest.com, right? If I come to my Pinterest account, let's just jump into it, right? Let's come over here, go to Pinterest. If I were to come to my profile, right? Saved stuff. If I come over to save stuff and I want to do a new board, I could come over here and do board and I could say, what was it? It was minimalist um, bedroom ideas, right? And I can create it. We might as well just create it. Let's just go with it. Create the dart thing. What I usually do is click a couple top ones just to seed the board, you know, good to go. Don't overthink this stuff. And then what you can do, you can say, okay, now I have the board. I want to create a new pin. Come over here, pin, and you can, manually do this. You can manually drop it in just manually. If I can say that word right, manually drop it into Pinterest instead of using a scheduler. A scheduler makes it go so much faster though. Now the scheduler I use is post planner. It works really well. So you can come here and say, I want to create a single post. No, let's go multiple posts. And you can see this right here, drop spreadsheet file here. Spreadsheets. These things work really, really well. So I'm going to show you what this one looks like. It's pretty intense when you don't know how to use it, but it's really, really, really simple. If you want to come into the Maverick forum, we can talk about specifics about using these type of spreadsheets. I don't want to go into it in this video because it's kind of boring material, but I can upload these 42 images like that and it's done. Done. I could do it within probably two minutes. Right. So the point is you have two options. You have native posts. Some people swear by Pinterest native posting. They like it. Seems to work for them. Some people don't care like me. I just want speed to test things out. I use this tool. Now let's do one more test here. We were using flux. That was one cent per image. Let's use ideagram. I think it's closer. I mean, it's a lot more expensive. It might even be 10 cents an image, but it's worth it for some niches in my opinion. Before we do that, come to my channel, subscribe, of course, come to playlists, 
Pinterest marketed. There's like 10 plus videos. Hundreds of thousands of people have seen these. If you want to go down the rabbit hole, check out my other Pinterest videos. And I have a masterclass that goes way more in depth about how to do AI on Pinterest. These are the exact methods I use. I give you little fragments on YouTube, but if you want to kind of drink from a fire hose, that's your opportunity. So let's go to Ideagram. What niche would Ideagram be worth? doing. So Ideagram costs more money, but the images are more high quality. What niche would be really, really good to use this on? And I think an obvious candidate is something that I pursue. I've been testing this for some time in recipe blogs, recipes, right? Just recipe listicles, the 10 best uh, dinner recipes for your family, that type of stuff. That's what we could use it for. So let's just try there. So let's say 15 dinner recipes for the whole family, right? The whole family. Let's come down here, Ideagram. Let's make sure we have the right one. We have V2 Turbo, we can do verbose. So verbose kind of gives the descriptions, the words under the images, bigger, bigger, ver verbose, right? That's a cool word, verbose. Anyways, let's go with it. We're doing 15, so we're doing 15 here. Boom, all right, it's gonna cost 300 credits. Like I said, this is more expensive, click go. And just like that, here we go. Let's look at the images. You can see Ideagram crushes it. The images are so much better. I mean, that looks, beautiful. It makes me hungry. I mean, look at this food. It's ridiculous. It's it's so good. It's so, so good. I, I mean, let's just look at some food together right now. It looks great. Some of them are better than others, right? That looks, I mean, that's pretty good. I don't know what the, the crunchy stuff on top was. Here's a shrimp taco, right? Interesting. Um, that looks great. You'd have a hard time knowing some of these are AI, right? Don't know what that is. That looks a little funky, right? Vegetable fried rice with egg and green onions. Um, Eh, that looks a little bit odd, but you know, the close up of bowls and stuff looks great. What is that? Quinoa with peppers? Is that what it is? Yeah, it looks awesome. Let's just keep going. We're looking at food together. Um, some fish with lemons looks great. So there is a purpose, in my opinion, to use an ideogram at times. When you need to outcompete competitors that have high quality images, I mean, these are great. That's the whole point. So you have an option to use the lesser of the tools, it's more affordable, or you can use the high quality and it's more expensive. Now, if you made it this far in the video, right, I encourage you to come and join the masterclass, the Maverick Mastermind. There's resources, you can talk to me, you can talk to others about what the heck is working right now, like actively here, hundreds of people are in the forum. And on top of that, like, and there's more to this video. Here's what I wanna say. So many people comment on these videos, but how do you make money? The money stuff is the simple stuff. If you get eyeballs to your website, if you get eyeballs to your Pinterest page, like people are looking at your stuff, they're gonna to click to your website and you can monetize via display ads, call to actions, products, services, all these different things, build a newsletter. So when you're thinking about, but how do I make money? That's not, that's not the hard part, right? If you get the traffic, that's the hard part. Get the traffic to your website.